Okay, I want to tackle a question that I got from a girl. She did not give me um, permission uh, specifically to use her name, so I'm going to call her Sammy. So Sammy was at a fair, and she was with a group of uh, friends. She calls them her friend group. And she was the only one who was single. So there was eight other kids. They're all couples, and then there's her. And at about midnight, she says, I'm going to go over to the vending machine and get a pop, and I'll be right back. So she goes over, gets a pop, comes back, and they're gone. And she walks around looking around, thinking that might have, they just might have moved on to like a game or something. She looks around, looks around, looks around, can't find them, starts calling them, no one's answering their phone. And it turns out they left her there. Now, she ended up having to call her parents and they had to come and get her, which I'm sure was slightly humiliating. Um, very just painful. I just, I just, I'm sure it was. And no one in the friend group took responsibility for it. She ended up telling a friend of hers um, that knows these other kids and they she gave them grief and no one took responsibility. They were just trying to pass the buck and kind of the, well, I don't know, kind of stuff. And um, she also told me another story where they were going to go somewhere and only one of the kids drives. And obviously there wasn't eight other kids and her, um, but there was several of them and there was not enough seats so they made her ride in the trunk. <sighs> that just makes me cringe, especially because, well, as a mom, you know I'm going to say, what are you doing riding in the trunk? <gasps> that is not safe and what if you get in an accident and yada, 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 yada. The other thing is there is boys there and I specifically use the word boys because men would not have a girl riding in a trunk. Just so you know. Another telltale sign of who to hang out with and who not to. So she's wondering, how does she handle this? Well, let me help you with something. I want you to understand what a friend is. And I think that Sammy needs to redefine what her um, view of a friend is, what her definition of that is. So let me just tell you this, though. Friends would never leave you anywhere. It wouldn't matter if it was at the fair or, I don't know, the dentist. <laughs> They're just not going to leave you. They just don't. They're part of your family. They're making sure that you're safe. They're, you know, kind of sort of keeping an eye on you. If you're, you know, go somewhere and you're not back in a reasonable amount of time, they, they take notice of that. Um, so Sammy and people like you, I want you to go to my website if you're not already there, whatwouldyourhairdressersay.com, and on there, there is a link, um, Traits of Safe People. So I'd love it if you went through that and um, started kind of running your um, friends through that grid, but also yourself, okay? Um, I'm guessing that Sammy has had some either bullying or outward rejection or maybe some not so good home life because this has been going on for quite a long time and she hasn't put a stop to it. And if you have been treated that way for a long time, then it's really hard for you to tell, like, is this normal? And it's not. It's absolutely not normal. But if that has always been your normal, it's really hard to tell. So... If you take a look at that list, that would be super helpful. I also want to piggyback. Oh, let me back up real quick. She wants me to um, help her handle that, okay? Help her understand how to handle that. Well, if you've been watching my channel for very long, you know that I like directness. I think that people need that. Um, now, when I say directness, I mean face-to-face -face discussion, not texting, because lots of things can get missed in translation with a text, because I can't tell you know, your tone of voice, your body language, and things like that. So lots and lots of kids, though, over the course of this blog, have just cringe when I say, I, I really think you need to talk to that person about that. And they're like, but, but I can't. I just can't. And I totally get that. Um, but let me toss this out to you. In life, as you get older, you are going to have to learn to talk to people have difficult conversation. Not all confrontation is bad. You know, it doesn't have to be bad, but maybe, you know, if that's how, you know, maybe at home confrontation has always been bad, then maybe that's scary to you. Well, if you just keep the emotion out of it and just be pretty just even Steven about things, usually it goes pretty well. 
And if someone else gets dramatic, just, just don't jump on the bandwagon with them. And if they don't, um, I mean, especially in this situation, if there's not some immediate apology made and a change of behavior immediately, then you kind of know what you have and that's not a good friend and you don't want to waste your time with that, okay? Because you're too important for that, okay? Now, if you just absolutely cannot do that, um, please make it your goal. You know, I've had other uh, girls on the channel that have just kind of written off a group of friends because they're mean. And if you have to do that uh, as, a, as a kind of a baby step to get to where you can have conversation with people, go ahead, you know, just, just make it a goal, okay? Now I wanna piggyback on um, another question that I got, but it's the same principle, it's a different circumstance, but the same principles can be applied. So real quick, uh, she eats a whole food plant-based diet and she gets a whole lot of grief for it at school. Now I totally get this because so do I and so do my daughters and we all get grief about it if we bring it up or if we're eating in front of people and I don't really get it like we don't take issue with what other people choose to eat. We don't really understand why people take issue with what we choose not to eat. And um, she has, you know, kind of reported the same thing that I have always gotten where people all of a sudden become the nutrition expert as soon as you say you eat a whole food plant-based diet or vegan or vegetarian or, you know, whatever it is your thing is. And that always makes me kind of giggle <laughs> because I'm like, so where did you get your nutrition education from? And there's always like a dead silence because I have an Ivy League nutrition education. And I'm just like, I'm betting you don't if you're questioning me on that. So, or at least being a jerk. So the same principles apply because this girl now is getting so much grief that she is eating lunch at the period preceding, preceding lunch. She's not even eating in front of these friends. It has made, made her so self-conscious. She gets so much grief for it. She won't eat in front of them. Again, that's not a friend. Friends would maybe ask and be curious but they would never give you grief about it, that it just wouldn't happen. So again, be direct. Um, I'm, as I've gotten older, I find that it is, sorry, my phone is on. I find that it is um, much easier to be direct sooner rather than later. So if this happens early in the year, it's really much easier to say, you know, hey, um, I don't appreciate that. If you're curious about something, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. But if you're just going to harass me about it, I'm not okay with that and that needs to stop. And then if it doesn't stop, then you immediately go find somebody else, you know, to have lunch with. And a lot of kids are like, well, but that's all I have. Like, I don't have any other friends. Well, I always tell my girls it's better to be alone and healthy than to be with other people and unhealthy and tormented and miserable, right? And it keeps you from making other friends also because you're taking up your time with people who don't deserve you, okay? So uh, go to the website, you know, for the second girl too and, and just check out that link that says, you know, list of safe people. What would your hairdresser say? Traits I think of safe people. There's also one on there that I think is um, traits of abusive people. And that's always fun to kind of look at both of them and see, you know, how do my friends match up? How do any you know, guys in my left match up. How do I match up? I think that that is probably the angle I would prefer you to take is look at yourself first, you know. Don't be, um, oh, this person really could look at this list. <laughs> Hopefully they would change. Well, um, you know, it has to start with us. Now, a final note for those of you who are just terrified to say anything to other people. Listen. You're a world changer, and world changers don't keep their mouth shut. Or at least they live a life that makes other people go, huh, I am at least curious about that. Okay? You can't change the world by being a wallflower or flying under the radar. And I know that that's what you want to do because this is the kind of the time of life to do that. And I get it. I was there. I totally understand. I am not a person that likes attention. So so I get it. Um, but... If you really want to impact this world, you're going to have to be yourself, be brave, be courageous, you know, it's okay. And you're, you're going to come up with criticism. 
okay? You kind of come up against criticism, I should say. And, and you know what? Even if you aren't yourself and you're trying to be somebody else, they're going to criticize you anyway, so you might as well be who you are and, you know, get criticized for that instead of something that you're not, right? So try, would you please try to be yourself? Would you please try to be brave? Would you please try to, you know, speak up and say, hey, that is not okay with me. Stop. You know, would you please try to be open to finding other friends because you are worth it? You know, you're amazing people. And you might say, well, Tracy, you don't know me. Well, I don't care. <laughs> I, I do believe that you are amazing. And if you're watching this video, then then you're looking for some advice and you're looking for a change in your life. And, and you know, being brave is step one. Okay? We live and die by our, our decisions, good and bad. And if you want to be a world changer for the good, then you got to start amping it up, okay? And I know that it's hard, but at least take the baby steps in the direction to get there, okay? So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, check out my website if you're not already there. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please share me with your friends. Um, and I love to speak, so if you think I would be a good fit for your school or organization, you know, you can share me if you want. So I love you all, and I will see you next time.